Professor Linda Cummings. I'm uh, an Associate Professor of Mathematics at New Jersey Institute of Technology. Um, before that, I was a lecturer at the University of Nottingham. Um, I guess I started my mathematics education at Oxford. I did my undergraduate and PhD there, and then I did uh, postdocs um, overseas, both in Israel and in Paris. Well, I guess it's uh, a long history of being interested in maths and numbers, you know, from, from being quite small. Um, I guess the first point at which you have to make a choice really is when you do your A-levels and um, so you know I did maths and science A-levels um, because they seemed to leave most doors open. Um, it was a tough call from that point on because I was also very interested in chemistry, particularly theoretical chemistry. Um, but I guess I decided that I, you know, I couldn't really, um, I wasn't very good at the practical side of chemistry, whereas I was very good at the theory and you know, mathematics seemed to me the perfect, um, the perfect area, you know, in particular applied mathematics, where I could explore lots of physics and chemistry and science problems, but not have to do any, any of the experimental side, it's just pure theory. Uh, today I'm talking about a specific problem in um, liquid crystal display design. So it's, um, it's a problem that comes from industry. Uh, it's a problem that we first heard about from Hewlett Packard and um, essentially they're interested in ways in which you can reduce the power consumption of uh, liquid crystal displays. So it's a new design really for, for display devices. Um, a liquid crystal display and uh, you know, a particular one based on pneumatic liquid crystals, is, which is what I work on, um, well, they're found all over the place. It's the display that you see in your iPhone, it's the display that your laptop has, um, it's the display, uh, you know, many TVs are liquid crystal based these days. I would say that um, mathematics keeps your options open, so, you know, in, in terms of if you're interested in mathematics but you're worried about focusing purely on mathematics, then I would say don't be worried about that. Um, you know, if you go and study mathematics as an undergraduate, that certainly doesn't close any doors further down the line. You can go off and do a physics PhD, theoretical physics obviously, um, a PhD in lots of theoretical sciences. I would say mathematics is extremely versatile. Um, I mean, you have to work hard, but you have to work hard whatever subject you do. It's extremely interesting. Um, it's intellectually challenging. It's intriguing. It's, um, it's fun. Thank you.